Australia is experiencing a once-in-a-generation transformation of the energy system, rapidly integrating new large-scale wind and solar and photovoltaic generation. We already have around 15 gigawatts of rooftop solar generation capacity and 13 gigawatts of large-scale wind and solar in the NEM and around two gigawatts of rooftop solar generation capacity and one gigawatt of large-scale wind and solar in the WEM. At times, this instantaneous renewable generation capacity can supply over 60% of underlying demand across the NEM and 70% across the WEM. For the NEM, the integrated system plan step change scenario forecast by 2050 a doubling of delivered electricity, nine times utility scale variable renewable energy capacity, five times distributed PV capacity, and coal retiring two to three times faster than anticipated. In WA, the increase in renewable generation is expected to continue significantly with the implementation of WEM reform. High levels of rooftop PV generation in densely populated areas already result in significant power swings and frequency volatility as cloud cover moves rapidly across the area. Managing the system involves not just balancing supply and demand continuously, but ensuring the system can withstand sudden shocks or changes without resulting in cascading failures and disruptions to end consumers. We're projecting that by around 2025, 2026, we could see periods where 70 to 80% of the demand for the entire NEM mainland will be met just by rooftop PV. We're looking at managing a grid that's far more complex than it ever has been before, where we were dealing in the past with just relatively small number of large generators. Now we're dealing with millions of customer devices. The key challenges we're seeing in the electricity control room is firstly the transition to variable renewable energy and inverter-based resources, but also over the last few years we've seen an increase in a number of extreme weather events that have had a significant impact on the power system. The uh, unusual weather event that caused the 500 kV transmission system to collapse in Victoria and separated South Australia from Victoria, that catastrophic plant failure at Torrens Island, and then two months after that we had the Calide event. When the system's in an abnormal condition, for example, with this Torrens uh, fire, we needed to go to our offline team to run ad hoc studies to determine if we were in a secure operating state. And those studies can take a few hours. We needed that information to determine if we were secure and then also how to get back to a secure operating state if we weren't secure. So the uplift we require in the control room is firstly improve visualisation tools so that we can maintain our situational awareness. Secondly, analytical tools uh, to, in real time, to be able to study things like system strength that Monique talked about with the Torrance Island event. Thirdly, what comes with the variable renewable energy resources is uncertainty in terms of forecast and capacity largely due to the fact that their fuel source is weather and we all know how the weather can vary. With all these additional or new generators that have joined the NEM, we have a lot more data coming in and we've increased our screen real estate, but we really need to start to convert that data to information and be able to quickly identify issues when we need to take action. Australia and the world are undergoing a clean energy transition at unprecedented speed. CSIRO and AMO have partnered and are collaborating through the Global Power System Transformation Initiative as we move from fossil fuel based energy dependence towards net zero emissions. EPRI is one of the core research entities within the Global Power System Transformation GPST initiative. We engaged AMO subject matter experts to deliver the AMO operations technology roadmap. The power system of today will not be the same as the power system of tomorrow. So the toolkit that operators and engineers use will need to be uplifted and to evolve. Our vision for the operations team at AEMO is a vision centered around consumers and meeting the technology challenges of the future in the interest of consumers by bringing together what we know today with the technology of the future. I manage the two control rooms that manage the power system on the eastern seaboard. Our mission is to keep the lights on, and we do that by maintaining power system security and reliability. This is affected by having the correct tools to be able to manage the power system and skilled people to manage those tools. We are in the process of upgrading our tools to be able to manage this power system of the future, and that is what the Operations Technology Roadmap is all about. 
Significant investment is required in the technical capability of AMO's NEM and WEM control rooms and operations support team tools to manage the future power system and deliver on AMO's core regulatory obligations. Priority developments identified in this roadmap include providing greater visibility to the control room for system strength and stability relating to fast control system interactions between inverter-based resources over timeframes down to the microsecond, look ahead capability to improve our ability to anticipate changes in the power system in the minutes and hours ahead, and tools to effectively manage future ramping events where changes in wind and solar resources over several hours have significant implications for power transfers across the system and changes required from other forms of generation or even demand response. These necessary changes are enabled by two key things, enhanced situational awareness through real-time monitoring and visibility of the power system, and the data and models used to represent the power system and are applied in the analytical tools that are continuously assessing the state of the power system every minute of every day. We look forward to working with industry as well as continued global collaboration to progress the operations technology roadmap and help facilitate this once in a generation evolution of the power system to support all Australians.